Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your look at the 2023 New York Jets. It's a season preview, a little bit of talk about the Jets, and then a win total prediction is the way these videos work. I'm trying to keep them around five minutes. These are a super high-level view. It's the first NFL that I'm doing this season. And you guys know as the season goes on and as we get close to the season, we really drill down into all the details here at Pick Dogs. But right now, I'm just kind of doing my homework. So in the meantime, I'm going to shoot out videos because I'm going to start preparing to do NFL preseason videos in just a few weeks. So I might as well get ready for that. Of course, as always, if you guys have other information, comments, anything like that, you know something here about the New York Jets that I don't know, by all means, help us out. And let's crush the books together as we do every single day at PickDogs.com. But let's look at the Jets. Of course, the Jets... Really, no strangers to losing. This team has been one of the worst teams in the NFL year over year. They've been absolutely terrible. Of course, have not been a Super Bowl since the 60s. They have not been uh, you know, in the playoffs in a very, very long time. And, uh, in fact, they haven't won a playoff game in pretty much forever at this point. But it's not for lack of trying. It's not for a lack of throwing money at the problem. It's just for a lack of execution, poor head coaching, and just really a lot of bad luck as well. And the Jets have just had that magical combination. But they hope to catch lightning in a bottle this year. If they've gone out and got Aaron Rodgers, it was a big, big bet that the Jets made taking Rodgers and hoping that he would carry them over the hump. If he does not do that, heads are going to roll in New York. There's no other ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's playoffs or people are getting fired, and that is pretty much the way that should be when you make a bet that size. Rodgers, at this point in his career, does not have the mobility, and the offensive line for the Jets is bad. It isn't okay. It isn't, you know, whatever. It is the weakest unit on this team, and that will be the big challenge here. One of the things that they have is Brees Hall. If he can come back from the injury last year at running back, he can take some of that heat off of Rodgers. He is exceptional. And what we saw from him, I thought he was really one of the best running backs you know, to, to come into the NFL in a while. But as we know with running backs, as we know with NFL players, oh, one hit the wrong way, one step the wrong way. And these guys sometimes, it's never the same. But the Jets did have the Offensive Rookie of the Year with Garrett Wilson last year. He was outstanding as well and uh, should be a great target for Rodgers, who also has um, Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb, guys that he knows. Lazard listed as a starter. And Miko Hardman, the slot receiver from the Kansas City Chiefs, one of Patrick Mahomes' favorite targets. He is now a New York Jet. But like I said, it's that offensive line for the Jets that is the problem. And then Denzel Mims and Corey Davis, these guys both have never really lived up to the expectations. Davis brought over a former first-round pick for the Titans. And uh, Denzel Mims, this guy wanted to get traded from the Jets. They didn't trade him, and they're just kind of making him suffer, I guess. Meanwhile, you know, when we look at the Jets' defense— this unit, really not that bad. And I got to say, the numbers from last year don't tell the whole story. And I think that's one thing that we always know from the NFL, and especially handicapping games. We have to know when the, sto when the, the story is told in the numbers, when the story is not told in the numbers, which numbers are important and which numbers aren't. And one thing we know about the New York Jets, this defense has been absolutely hung out to dry in recent years. So, you know, when you compare like maybe a, a Jets defense to a team where the offense methodically moves the ball down the field on long drives like the, you know like like you see some of these other teams do it is apples and oranges because the Jets defense has kind of held up considering the amount of time that they're on the field you know the Jets had some really nice comebacks in recent years and uh you know comeback wins the defense were able to keep them in really as good as they could and gave the Jets a chance and uh you got to give hats off to him. C.J. Mosley in the middle of that linebacking crew and Quinn and Williams in the middle of the defensive line are really sort of the anchors of that front section. Myers and Lawson provide the pass rush, but on the on the corners, Sauce Gardner was is everything he was built to be. And you want to talk about it, as bad as a pick as people believe Zach Wilson was, Sauce Gardner absolutely exceptional he had defensive rookie of the year for the Jets so certainly the youth movement is there and Sauce Gardner I mean this is a guy who's a lifer right I mean you, you just sign this guy and just keep him forever but as we move on and we look at the Jets win total it is at nine and a half 
And we're talking about a team that hasn't done anything. And we know that Aaron Rodgers had some slower starts with the Packers in some of those years. And I could see a slow start here with the Jets as he becomes accustomed to his new team. Like I said, the offensive line is a sieve. The defense is good, but not great. And I think I think that nine and a half might be a little bit of a reach for a team we haven't seen win. I'm going to take the under nine and a half for the Jets. And that's going to be my win total prediction. This is Mitch from Pick Dogs. Remember, check out all of our videos every day at Pick Dogs. We've got free picks on every single game, every single day. If you're looking to take your game up another level, we have the best handicappers in the world, 100% documented premium picks at our, at our premium pick section at PickDogs.com, including our Pick Dogs Dime Club. And of course, if you're looking to bet some of these games, just click on the Sportsbook tab or click on the link in the description below. We have all the latest and greatest sportsbook offers. Let's crush the books together this NFL season.